Good afternoon, everyone. I present to your attention the work of the Add or Update Links in Model Plugin. Consider the following situation in our project. We have a certain list of models, and our task is to get into one of those to add the rest of the models. Let's take the architecture as an example. Let's open this model and we can see that in this model we don't have any links, but we need to add them. Since there are the models linked uh, on the project, we can add each of these links at one time and at the same time we need to add them and then separately manually close them. Certain working sets. Or we can use a plugin add link models on the current file. To do this, we first need to prepare Excel file. I've already prepared it and it's called add links. Let's open it up and let's take a look at it. The first column is model names that I want to add in the second one. Path where those models are located. This path could be like a path to local storage or to the Revit server. Prepare this file, click Save and Close. Now the architectural model down the plugin add or update links. In the open window, first of all, we need to select our Excel file, then we need to select sheet where we have our information, choose how we are going to insert it. Then we need to select those models that we are going to load. I'll select all of them and then in this window we can through the command to spell out those working sets that we want to close when we download our links. Let those be the working set that have the word link in their names. Add links. In the end, after the plugin has worked, we see that all linked models have been added to our current model. Now let's consider updating the links. Assume that we have in our architectural model these links that have been added, but we have changed the location of these links. Let me temporarily create a new one folder and move our files. Now let's reopen the architectural model. Let's close it and reopen it again. Of course, the architectural model has lost all of its links. And how do we restore it now? Let's open our Excel file and here instead of this path, we spell out a new path. Save and close Excel. Let's run the Add or Update Links plugin. Select our Excel file. Select all of our models. And click Update Link. After running the plugin, we can see that all the links have been restored. If we go into the Communications Manager, we'll see that the path has changed to a new one in all links. Now let's look at a situation where both the location and the name of the file have been changed. For example, let's delete this folder. Let's reopen the architectural file.
we will see that the links have been lost. And now consider the situation where we've got files that have been rearranged and change the name. That's it. The electrical file used to be called like this and now it's called like that. We need to supplement Excel for this. Let's open it up in the third com. Write the new names of our links. And in the second column, we'll specify the new path. Save the Excel file. Run the plugin. Select all of our links and update. After running the plugin, we see that we have changed. The location of our link models as well as changing their names to new ones. So using the plugin add or update links, you can batch add links to your project as well as make them update to other paths or names. That's it for now. Thank you everybody. Subscribe to the channel, give us a like and in the description of the video you can find the download link with the free 2 weeks trial version. Bye, everybody.